honestly say that I am still continuing my love affair with this Nigella kit. <laughs> it's so versatile and gorgeous and it has all the stuff that um, I love in it because stuff's a very technical word. <laughs> Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, I hope you're all well. I am having an attempt here at what I call the very technical smooshing technique. <laughs> so I'm using my um, Tombow markers and I'm just sort of giving you an idea of what the colours are that I'm using there. And um, I have attempted this only once before and it didn't really go that great. So I don't like to be beaten. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving it another shot and this time it was definitely more successful than the last so I because I see so many people doing it and I'm just like why did it turn out so bad for me last time but I think um, I use too much water so just a little bit of water tends to work so and the Tombow markers work so well for that as well um, those that you see on the screen there are the complete set that I have. <laughs> I don't have a lot of them, but the ones I do have, um, I use and they're really, really handy. Anyway, on to what I'm actually doing. And yes, it's quite clear that I have a bit of an, uh, an um, obsession with pink. <laughs> I've just noticed I've done pink background. I've got a pink um, cutter. I've got pink nails. And what else was pink? Oh, look, there's pink on that little cutting mat. Oh, it's a wonder that's not pink. It would, if I could have got it in pink, it would be pink. <laughs> so what I decided to do with this photo of my cat, Sahara, and yes, I'm one of those really sad people, maybe not so sad, maybe we just like to do this, um, that Snapchat their cat. <laughs> and that rhymes really well, but I'm not going to go there. So, um... If those of you that haven't got Snapchat, it's a it's a um, an app that you can basically put sort of things on you and change the way you look. So, and my cat just was sitting there staring at me. So I was like, right, you're gonna get a flower crown straight away. So um, I am doing. I had the, this um, kit has had these little squares. Um, of pictures as you can see here and I've cut them all out and I just wanted to do them like a little collage and so I fussed around with this seriously I reckon for about 20 minutes so obviously I didn't put you through that torture <laughs> but I just wanted to do almost like a little kind of like a little photo board or something I reckon if you could get them in really big size like big square size and frame them and put them on your wall they would look absolutely stunning but I don't I don't think you can get them that big but so it's a pretty redundant point but <laughs> um, what I did with the I was just going to originally back the photo on the paper and then I don't know just came into my head to maybe just cut out a really thin border and frame it um, so it looked like a bit of a frame so I did that in a very fussy way because I don't know sometimes I just go with it when I'm was well I call this scrapbooking in a traveler's notebook really because it is that's pretty much what, it, what I'm doing um, so when I um, do any kind of scrapbooking I sometimes I just go with the flow and I just let it all happen and what it is it is and it and just sort of make it really organic and and, that, and then other times like this time I'm really pedantic and I'm like really fussy and yeah and the other thing that I'm not really good at is stitching stitching and I don't go don't get along very well I have a sewing machine that I specifically bought <laughs> for scrapbooking and I've never used it on my scrapbook isn't that really really sad it's not an expensive one or anything but I have used it for actual sewing <laughs> um, when I've made a couple of really lame, I'm not a good sewer, so I've attempted to make something and that's another story that we just won't go into because it's too embarrassing, but I've never actually used it for scrapbooking. So this year I've decided I am going to embrace sewing on my pages somehow. 
So I started with hand stitching this time and just did little crosses, little, um, I don't know, little crisscrosses on them. And, um, and then just sort of did them around the page and just think it adds a little bit of texture and just something a little bit different. It's not really obvious, doesn't really stand out. Um, you see it obviously a lot more in real life, but it's there and um, these rub ons. Honestly, I could have 600,000 of them. Yep, 600,000, exactly. <laughs> oh, and now look, the wood veneers are out of my, my personal collection. I just um, felt like I needed something else on the page and I just couldn't find the right embellishment and I just decided to pull out my little wooden hearts and I just felt like they just went really well. I just wanted something that was, I tried some um, enamel dots and stuff, but it just wasn't working. I just think it needed that lightness of the um, wood veneer and I haven't used them for ages either. So, <laughs> and these stamps, these stamps came with the kit as well. And this one was perfect because it says, oh, so fancy, which is how she looks. It's quite regal. Um, for a cat with a flower crown on. <laughs> oh, it's a bit weird, I know. But if you are a cat person or a cat lover or you have a cat, you would understand. <laughs> um, I love all animals, um, but I, I have cats because I'm allergic to dogs, unfortunately. But there you go, that's life. I'm all finished. It's all happened already. But thank you so much for watching. I'll link down below the Nigella kit where you can get it. I know they're still available. Um, and yeah, I hope that you enjoy. And I will see you all next week. Okay, take care.